is Yidnis Sabag, and I am going undercover at BHP Reptiles and the Reptarium. Let's get this started. So everyone knows Brain Barsack. He's been the animal guy on YouTube since before you can remember. But there's been a lot of controversy steeped around his name. Today, I'm going undercover to prove all of that correct. Let's do this. You always have to go in the back door. Always. Now everybody knows this man has the dirtiest tubs in the business. So let's just take one and take a look. Oh my God. Wait. Let's try that again. That one was clean. Let's try that again. So everyone knows Brain Barsack has the dirtiest tubs in the business. Let's prove that right now. Okay. All right. One more time. That one was clean and it had water too. Um, let's just go to one over here. Let's go to one over here. All right. Okay. So everyone knows Brain Barsack. He has the dirtiest tubs in the business and... Well... So maybe Brain Barsack's tubs are actually pretty clean, and maybe all of the steaks do have water. But I know what else we can prove. They've even sounded the sirens, which means that we're gonna find exactly what we're looking for. We're back outside, but now we're going in the back door of the Reptarium. And we know that these big snakes never shed in one piece. And today, we're gonna be looking at Ivy the Anaconda to prove once and for all that the humidity is not correct. Now I just need to tactically acquire a set of keys to get into the cages. We got the keys. Now all we have to do is go to Ivy's cage and prove that she doesn't have. What the f is that? Which one of these fucking animals doesn't shed right? Damn it! Well, it seems that Ivy the green anaconda has shed in one complete piece. That can only mean the humidity is perfect. Let's investigate another cage. I have a humidity sensor 6000 that will pick up exact humidity readings. We're gonna go in and we're gonna prove once and for all that the humidity is wrong in the Reptarium. We've made it to our next cage. Here, I have the humidity reader. Now this is the most high-tech piece of equipment that you can get for things like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the cage and verify the humidity. Now all we need to do is set this device in here, and then boom, it's reading 4G LTE. That means the humidity is actually perfect, and you can tell that again, because there's another full shit from Lucky the Amazon Tree Bow. I think I'm gonna have to dive deep to prove that this place needs a serious renovation. So we've checked the dirty tubs, they came out clean. We've checked the humidity and it was perfect. There was a 12 foot one piece snake shed, but I'm not giving up on this. We all know that Brain Barsack does this for the money. We all know that he built this reptarium and spent $200,000. So we, we know that he just, he just is in it for the money. And that explains, that explains exactly why he did this. He got another building. And you know what he did? He spent another $200,000 to make another building. Wait, wait, he spent another $200,000 on another building that's not gonna bring him any more money? Shit. Brain Barsack might not be in it for the money either. So we've proved that the tubs are clean, the humidity is perfect and he's not in it for the money, but I'm not giving up. We're gonna prove that these cages are too damn small because we all know they are. Don't you see how small this cage is? This is inhumane. This is animal abuse. What does he do? Well, I mean, I guess I fit and I'm pretty fucking big. All right, so I've been working hard to try to prove that Brain Barsack is the person that they say he is. And I think that I've almost gotten it down. But we know that the animals aren't happy, so let's go take a look at one of the animals and prove that. 
look at this super unhappy animal that comes right down and then it like perches up when you scratch it. It's obviously so mad and it obviously hates everyone and you know, yeah, this animal is definitely not happy whatsoever. You can just tell by looking at it that it is absolutely miserable. We can prove that again with this guy right here. And you can see that, you know, he's so terrified of the people and he doesn't want to come out whatsoever. I think at this point that I've compiled enough evidence on Brain Barsack that we know, but we don't really know anything yet. All of my stuff has been wrong so far, but I know there's one thing that will prove that Brian Barsack is who the haters say he is, and that's his employees. You can always tell a place by their employees, so let's go talk to some of them. So I'm here with one of BHB's employees. He's been here for a couple years, and he is gonna say the truth about Brain Barsack and working at BHB and the Reptarium and the horrors that he sees. So tell me the truth about what you think. Well, the truth really, really is how wonderful Brian actually is and that we actually enjoy working here and everybody here is freaking awesome. Huh? Let's try someone else. Okay, we're here with another of Brain Barsack's employees. She works at BHB and the Reptarium and I'm convinced she's gonna give us the truth that we're looking for. So Andrea, tell me what you think about working for Brain Barsack. The truth is, guys, this is the most fun job I've ever had, actually, I love it. Damn, not again! All right guys, so it seems that we have discovered that Brian Barchuk is actually a great dude, super human being. All of the animals here are super well taken care of. The tubs are clean, everything has huge space. The animals are happy and overall he's just a great guy. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. Obviously uh, the whole video was kind of a big joke, but if you did like it, please hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new here, and turn the notification bell on. Bunch more videos to come while I'm here. Thanks guys, peace. He's the animal legend. On oh YouTube. shit, dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> so everyone knows Brian Bars. I got a better one. Serious face. All right, all right, get back, get back. Give me one more time. Can okay. grab the keys? It yeah. came out of focus. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, come on, man. Tell us the truth about working at BHB and the retar- The truth about working at BHB- I can't smile. <laughs> I try not to. So tell us the truth about working at the- <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so we're here with another employee who I'm sure is gonna give us- oh, yes. Okay, so we're here with another employee of BHB, the Reptarium, and the famed Brain Barsack. She is gonna give a- Fuck you, man, don't laugh. Okay, wait, I got it. Do I give my response, like- you can, yeah, you can be smiling or whatever. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's just that. This is the most fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the m most the fun I've ever had. <laughs> okay, I got it. No, I don't. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. Dead puppies, dead puppies. Dead puppies. It's very sad. <laughs> very sad. Okay, so we're here with another BHB Reptarium employee and an employee that's. An employee that's employee? <laughs> You've been an employee? Hey guys, that's why we don't mess with apex predators. I know it doesn't look that bad, uh, but it is bleeding, there's a couple cuts, and there's a giant lump inside my arm, I'm assuming from my muscle being swollen. Uh, so that's definitely gonna bruise. If I remember in a future video, I will show you guys what it looks like.